This is Guy Adams of umpcportalandcarrypad.com uh, We've got here today the Acer 1825PT finally after weeks worth of waiting for it um, this was announced as the upgrade to the 1820PT which never arrived in UK shores uh, so right I'm going to unbox it and uh, give you an overview of the device this is retail packaging, this is the, the full thing. And we've got a uh, quick start guide and the actual device itself, which is there we are. It's uh, quite compact, very thin. I think thickness wise it's comparable to my Asus 1000H. Power cables. There is the quick start guide, the guarantee, and what looks like a screen wipe in there also. Into your packaging. Other half to the power adapter. And the battery. Clear that away. Right. So we have here a 63 watt hour battery. Ata reckon it will be good for eight hours usage. Um, this is of course running on the Intel uh, ultra low voltage processors and this particular model comes with an SU 7300 um, dual core processor which is 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, nothing a few quick starts guides. Uh, it's just a sticker to introduce you to the accelerometer. So there we have it. Uh, it's a full size keyboard, uh, short press. Uh, there's a little bit of flex there in the keyboard. don't know if you can see that. Um, of course, the Asus Party Trick it is convertible. So you can spin the screen and we have it in tablet mode. There's no locking mechanism. so. The screen does move a little bit on the hinge. There are some rubber, some rubber points to sort of grip it a little bit. Now, this model comes with four gigabytes of RAM, a 320 gigabyte hard drive, uh, wireless, Bluetooth. And it has an optional 3G module, which I wanted to check out. The supplier was non-specific about whether this one came with 3G or not. And there is a SIM card slot there, but it appears to have a piece of foam over it. So I shall have to investigate that a little further later. Let's take the battery back in. Let's have a quick overview of the device. So on the left hand side of the device, we have VGA out, DC, uh, there's the exhaust vent, an HDMI socket, this laptop's capable of HDMI output, um, it can decode H.264, MPEG-2, uh, decoding all, all on board, there's a USB port, uh, Bluetooth, power, battery and wireless lanterns, that's just the front of the touchpad. Uh, on the right hand side there's a 5-in-1 card reader, uh, SD, MMC and memory stick. Uh, this is quite interesting. It's a three and a half mil headphone socket which also acts as an SP diff out. Uh, so it's sort of a combination out there. Uh, standard microphone in, two more USB ports, power button, a Kensington lock and a network port. There's, um, Nothing on the back of the device, that's fairly clean. Uh, the bottom's fairly smooth, nice access panel there, which looks like access to the hard drive and memory modules. Um, so we'll fire up the device and we'll, we'll come back. Right, I've gone through the initial setup. Um, I've just done a, a reboot so you can see a cold boot. Uh, while that's booting up, there's a couple of things to explain. This is a 
LED backlit screen running at 1366 by 768 resolution. Um, it's higher obviously than the netbooks, um, although the higher resolution may mean that touch friendliness is affected. But uh, we'll, we'll see with time on that one. Uh, the touchpad is minuscule. Uh, to be expected really, this, the keyboard's full size so there's not that much room for, for a touchpad and it's got a single single bar switch I'll just tap the password in um, comes with Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit uh, it comes as standard uh, boot time's fairly respectable that's not bad at all got some battery life and um, should automatically rotate which it does doesn't take too long not bad considering it's still still booting up so it's got an accelerometer in it which changes the orientation yeah four way so it doesn't matter which which way you hold the device you'll still get the uh, the correct orientation and one of the other things I wanted to show you, just to finish off, if we load up Windows Paint, um, presses it's light press on the screen, not not too uh, too heavy at all. Seems fairly accurate. I've done no calibration of the screen, um, so this is as it was out of the box, no calibration at all. Right, here's Paint. So we've got one touch, two touch, and then of course it doesn't work on three touch. So it's a two point multi touch screen um, in Windows. And if we just give the system properties, I'm not one for the Windows index score, but 3.2, and as you can see, touch input available. We should have the uh, tip. There's the tip. It's the on-screen keyboard, and then the uh, the tablet input panel. Um, Acer state that the the screen will do finger press and pen, although they don't supply it with a stylus. Um, and I've got a stylus from another device here which is from a Palm Trio and it registers nothing at all on the screen so I'll investigate that a little bit further pen input that works fine um, it's quite accurate seems, seems good from that standpoint so this is Guidance from umpcportal.com with the Acer 1825PT